Week 11 pick-ums. You too, boss. It going. The Goat House is back. We are back picking every single game in Week 11. We do this every week, every Tuesday night. Let me tell you what, boys. The the mm. slate of games is something else this week. A lot of tough ones to pick. This is where we start to separate the men from the boys in the NFL. Teams clicking in the gear, getting ready for the playoff push. Exciting times. Here's your leaderboard. Down below us, we might have to have an investigation, maybe a piss sample from Cameron Campo, who's in first place. 114, how is that even possible? Uh, and then the Week 10 winner was Goat House Hall of Famer Cameron Sullivan. So he's here joining us with – Alongside. Alongside the Hall of Famer giving us – his picks. If you win the week in that league, you could still join it. Link pinned in, the com- pinned in the comments. Then your picks are in the next video. Are we ready to get into those picks? Are you get all right those. with the middle there? So. Yeah, I don't know. This there is it. not green. So I'm very confused why this is getting Oh, up. two things. Pete, well, one thing. Pete doesn't have the Titans logo. He has the Files logo this week because the Titans lost last week. And the Titans are playing my Vikings this week, so we're not allowing it. No, Smart. it's mainly because they lost. And Files have a big game against the Georgia Bulldogs. Let's get into the games oh here. Thursday night football. We got, we're got we starting with a great one, folks. Commanders at Eagles. It's the only two teams in the NFC East who is going to win that division at the end of the day. It's a big one. I'm going to tell you what. It's bigger for it's it's very big for both teams. I think it's bigger for one team, mm. clearly, mm. and that is the Philadelphia Eagles for two reasons. You want to take care of business prime time at home against division rival, but if you look at the remainder of these two teams' schedules, significant difference. The Commanders much much easier, so the Eagles absolutely have to take care of business in this one. If they lose this one, the Commanders are absolutely in the driver's seat to win the NFC East. It's gonna be a good one. Eagles heating up. Commanders let one slip away, but they were injured. Do they get Brian Robinson Jr. back, and do they get Marshawn Latimer out there for the first time? We will see. What are you guys going with? That was quite the breakdown without making a pick. Mm-hmm. I'm going upset alert. I'm taking Washington. He's taking Washington, folks. Thursday night footy. It's going to be a good wow. one. It's going to be a good Excited. one. I'm going to go with the Eagles, though, at home. Pete's taking the Eagles at home. Short week. Uh, like you're saying, must must win for Philly, it feels like, more than Washington. Give me the Eagles. Uh, I am also going to go with the Eagles if this was in D.C. Maybe I would lead, lean Commanders, but prime time in Philly. Commanders defense has picked it up, uh, you know, for the most part since the beginning of the season. This is a new challenge here. I think the Eagles run the ball pretty effectively in this one and get the job done. Done. The Eagles also stopped the run very well, which the Commanders do very well. So we're going to see that match up there. I like the way the Eagles' defense is playing. Give me Philly in this one, though, but it should be good. What about the Hall of Famer? Hall of Famer's got the Eagles, mm. and Yeller's got the Eagles. You're Cam Sullivan, the weekly winner. Lone Wolf over there. Off the, off the rip. Yeah, that's a good lone wolfer. Yeah. It's a good lone wolfer. Thank you. You can wolf that one up. I think so. Wolf it. Uh, Cam Sullivan going with the spite, the Spidey. What? <laughs> I don't know. The Spider Man. The Spider Man. Oh, Spider-Man. his logo. Yeah. Spider Man. The Spidey. Spider Man. I called it Spidey. I don't know why. <laughs> Not really sure. Uh, ooh, oh, Packers. Oh. Bears. Does it look like the Bears side is bigger than the Packers? Maybe not. Can we, I have a question. Uh, you know how Pete got the Tennessee logo? Yeah. For mine, can you just blur it? Blur I still it? want the Bears logo. Or if they win, we'll just put a picture of Thomas Brown in there. Put it as the Bears logo for the rest of the years, is Thomas Brown. <laughs> oh, boy. So, sh- this morning, Shane Waldron fired as offensive coordinator. What? Problem solved. Everything's what? perfect. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, Thomas Brown taking over as the play caller. The Packers are off the bye. It's kind of a shit show for Chicago right now. They can't score points. But do they turn it around? Junior, is he really going to continue doing it? Uh, well, let's start with Dan. I, you talked to Dan. I spoke with Dan okay. on, on the horn, and he said he's taking the Bears. All right. Um, and then, yeah, I'm also taking the Bears. Actually, uh, I got a text from Dan that if they didn't fire Eberflus, that he's done going to games. So I don't know how. I'm wow. guessing he's still going to this game. But Wow. Yeah, no, uh, this is purely I'm, I'm going to continue doing this, and this one is suck it, Ryan. Suck it. I don't care. Pollock, he's a Packers fan. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think about the polls. Going, I think yeah, I told I you like, your GM. Oh, no, no, not him, not him, not him. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, no, the Bears are just going to do it. They're just going to do it. it. They're All just right. going to do it. Why not? Uh, I'm going to take the Packers. Pete's going to take the Packers. Uh, you know, 
Anything, Pete? Seems, Anything? Seems like a mess in Chicago right now. I mean, they, they lost at home. The streak is over. Packers go in there. They always they always beat the Bears. Stop it, Pete. So just be nice. Just take the Packers and just shh. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, the Bears, besides last week, have been pretty dangerous at home, and it might be a little sloppy there. I'm looking at the weather earlier on Sunday, sloppy Soldier Field. So rain. maybe the, they catch the Packers sleeping. Maybe Love is still not 100%, and the sloppy conditions messes them up, and the Bears pull it off. I'm not going to predict that, though. I'm not going to pick. I mean, it could happen. I'm not going to pick it. The Packers are the far better team. This is where they get going for that playoff push. I fully expect them there. We'll take the Green Bay Packers. Yeller picked the Patriots all by himself last week. I'm guessing he's going with the Packers. He's, he's going, he's with, going the with the Packers. Mm -hmm. And Spidey Cam Sullivan, Hall of Famer, has got the Packers. I see how it is. Next video. Picks against the spread. Score predictions for every single game, don't you? For every week, there's Ooh. one bozo. There's one bozo every week. Like, no picks against the spread? Like, what is this? We got it. I got you. I've been doing it since I was born. All right. Next, we okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Nice. The Lions can win even though Goff throws five interceptions. He can throw ten in this game and they will win. I mean, Sam Darnold threw three against the Jags last week and the Vikings didn't score a touchdown and they still won. The Lions are much better than they are. How does Doug Peterson at least in have my his opinion. job still? Um, yeah, I don't know. The coaching in that game was pr pretty. Pretty terrible, and then post game he was getting snippy. Yeah, getting extra snippy. He always does. I uh, remember earlier in the year he was like questioned about his job, and he was like so confused by I, the question. I called it, I but I also thought that uh, I thought yeah I thought they were gonna finish last in the division. I had a feeling um, because of the coaching, but I thought the Titans were gonna finish second. Division, I thought Doug so. Peterson was good. I was wrong. He once he was at one point. He was. He's good for a short, a short. He won a Super Bowl uh, with Nick Foles. Short amount of time. Getting thrown in there, you know, pretty crazy. Because they started doing RPOs in the NFL, and also now no game plan for all, it whatsoever. All, all the teams do RPOs now, and they know how to stop it. Uh, Cam Sullivan is a Lions fan, but that is not the reason he's going with the Lions. He is going with the Lions because you have to. I mean, they absolutely are going to win this game. Mm -hmm. So what if it, they don't? In ass beating fashion, he actually said ass beating of the week, right? Cam you Sullivan. Want to go snot pounding. He did, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. Snot, he probably meant snot pounding. Should have went snot. This pounding. has got to be the snot pounding here. Yeah. But um, yeah, Doug Peterson said he's not going to explain the Mac Jones pick interception because uh, we wouldn't figure it out. The media wouldn't figure it out. Hmm. That's especially you guys just wouldn't understand. Especially on a play like that, it was pretty straightforward. I think they wanted to hit Brian Thomas Jr., but Gabe Davis ran a shit route, but Mac Jones threw the ball to a spot where there was no receiver. And the Vikings had it covered pretty well, so I don't know what there is to understand. Brian Thomas, it was a very tight window throw if he wanted to throw it. He didn't make the throw. It would have been tough. I don't know. Doug? Are we part of this uh, sports media? Yeah. Absolutely. You think we can get media credentials to go in and question flus? Possibly. We probably can. What's the number one question? First question. You only get one. Ooh, I'd really have to think about it. It'd be about his job. Not his hair? Yeah. I don't know why people keep talking about it. What kind of product do you use? Sure, what question? With, with the team uh, clearly in turmoil, are you still using product in your hair? With like you something. clearly, with you about to get shit canned, clearly, what product do you use? <laughs> just like lead them one way, just take the question another way? Yeah. Just throw them off. That's how you do it. Well, all right. That was the ass beating of the week or snot pounding week mm -hmm. brought to you by Liquid IV We're code GO. Oh, oh, Vikings, Titans, <laughs> Pete. Me versus Pete. Pete is going to the game. What is your there. record when they are when, – what's the Titans' record one when you're one. there? One and one. We picked against them last time because we said that they were going to lose, but uh, they won. They pulled it off. Against the – Broncos? The against the Panthers. Oh, Panthers. Why did I think you went to a Broncos? You were supposed I, to. I had, I had those tickets. I sold them, though. Who won that game? The Titans won. He says you weren't there. Yeah, we uh, can't count it. So Pete's going <laughs> to this game. How are you feeling about your Titans in this oh. game? Not very good. I mean, the Vikings haven't been playing well as of late, but I think their defense will Put give, you right over there. give the Titans some trouble. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Sneed, Legere Sneed's been out for weeks, and they didn't put him on IR. They thought he was going to come back, and he sounds like he's not coming back. So Jefferson should have a, have a pretty good day. So I'm going to go with the Vikings here. I don't know. I think it's going to be close in the first half because the Titans play actually really well in the first half. Probably of the be games. winning at halftime, to they be honest. Brian Callahan does script well. They do well in the opening script. 
Um, but then the, the wheels just fall off completely in the second half. Levis, Levis played uh, one of his better games, uh, but he's criticized for the seven sacks he, he had. It was – Kind of like Caleb holding, Could have the, been nine. holding the ball, holding the ball a little too long. It so, surely wasn't Latham's fault. Oh yeah, Latham, I watched a Latham's, lot of reps from Latham's that. Latham's a dog. Yeah, he's gonna be back in the top ten rookie rankings he's after a dog. that. Um, yeah, I mean the Vikings are winning recently, the re- last couple games, but they haven't really looked that great. And teams are starting their game plan a little more properly for Sam Darnold because the beginning of the year he was just staring at Justin Jefferson and it was working. And the Jags had him doubled at a guy over the top at all times. I think the Titans will probably do the same thing and maybe Jefferson won't do a whole lot. Titans play pretty decent defense. They play better defense than the Jags. So the Vikings, I mean, the Vikings didn't move the ball very easily on the Jags. They just couldn't put it in the end zone. So some red zone issues, some short yardage running issues, mainly play calling issues and short yardage, but probably stays close, but got to take the Vikings in this one. I think the main thing here is Flores' defense is looking good recently and especially looks good against inexperienced quarterbacks, and you have one with Will Levis who also could turn the ball over. So I'm expecting the Vikings to get a couple turnovers here in this one. So give me the Vikings. Yeah, Vikings in a uh, snot pounding. Snot oh, pounding. I don't, I don't think they're, this is they're gonna not going to pound anyone's no, snot. No, 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 because they see they saw what they did last week, and they, they like you said, they were moving the ball. They got there. They just couldn't finish the job. They're going to come in. And that was against the number 32 pass defense. Right, and they're going to come in angry. Okay. And they're going to finish the job. I can see it. I hope you're right. Um, all right. Yeller took the Vikings and Cam Sullivan. Uh, he's got the Vikings. Yeah. I don't have to look. Yeah, take. Yeah, even if the Titans win, you go. All right, I had to take the Vikings there, even though I lost it. You know, could could see it. I'm undefeated in lone dog Titans picks. To be honest, you want to switch over? No, I can't no. do it. I can't do it. How do I go from snap pounding to lone dog? That's, <laughs> that's, that would have been quite. The, that would have been the Shyamalan twist right there. It would have been. Raiders, oh Dolphins. Goodness. There's good games this week. Don't uh, worry. Are there? There's really good games. Give me the Mr. 305 and the Dolphins. Mr. 305 gets a shout out once again. <laughs> He's taking the Dolphins. I yeah. think it's a weekly thing. Go uh, with the Dolphins. I, I, think will, I think they're getting going a little bit. I, I called them beating the Rams. Oh, I was expecting much more of an offensive game than that, but yeah. uh, they handled business. They outplayed them from start to finish in that game, even though it was close for a majority of it. But, uh, yeah, Dolphins. Too many weapons for the Raiders to handle, and the Raiders do not. They're sloppy. They're messy. They do not have the run game here. I'm guessing everyone's going. I think it's a guarantee, right? Yeah. Gotta be, gotta it's got to be, gotta yeah, be yeah, a yeah, guarantee, yeah. folks. There it is. Don't worry. There's some really, not, really no, not yet. good games. Just not wait, yet. You know wait. what the next one is? Yeah, I think so. There's guarantees, and then there's really good games. Like yeah, but we're big not, games. We're not there yet. Rams Patriots. I mean the Patriots shellacked the Bears last week. They're okay. playing good. They're playing good defense. The Rams are a little sloppy right now. Uh in New England, it's it might be cold out there for the LA boys. And it's, it's about that time of the year where where things, yeah, the outdoor games, it gets cold and some some surprising things happen. Uh, it, it hits Not at here. this point. It's usually a little earlier. I feel like it's staying warmer longer this year. Not here you Global warming, am I right? Uh, all right. Junior's going with the the whams. The, the whams, whams go whamming. We're going to wham? Whams whamming. go whamming. I, I'm going to take – I think I'm it's going to be a closer game, actually. It could be semi-close here. I'll take the Rams, I'm though. I'm going to go with the Rams. He's taking you know, the Rams. let me down on Monday night. I, I told you guys my gut was on fire with that Dolphins They're pick. turning the ball over. Like, I mean, so, so was the I Dolphins. Guess, but, uh, man. Everyone's got the Rams. Everyone? Yeah. Everyone? Everyone? Not even Yeller, Patriots fan? He said 50-50 in his notes. I guess it's going to be a close game. Really? Yeah. Could be. I think the Rams win. Whams win. Whams win this one. I was not impressed with, their, with, with them on Monday. I was very disappointed. Dolphins are better than you think, though. They played. Yeah, they they had the Cardinals. They had the Bills. Let them slip away. They, they beat the sloppy. Whams. Sloppy by Stafford. Defense is getting better, though, I think. Yeah. Jared Verse getting yeah. going? Yeah. Okay. This, this is a tough one to pick. It's a game. good. It's a good trap game. game. <laughs> this is a what? Trap game. Tra- who's the trap? <laughs> Wait, does the trap? Whoever's the trap is who? Who's? Well, I don't understand. You don't understand trap don't, games? No, I understand. This is not a trap game. Is it game. a trap four? You're saying? Yeah, 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 it's not a trap game. Trap games usually okay. That the it's, Patriots it's, it's and Rams might have been a trap game. Like the it's, Ra- a, it's a trap game for Unk. <laughs> he's one and oh. He's one and oh. I forgot. He's uncle, <laughs> my uncle Rizzy, one and oh, 
as a head coach, <laughs> had the boys fired up. I texted Pete. Pete's like Uncle Riz, and oh. I was like, best uncle ever. He's skyrocketing <laughs> the top of my uncle. What was that rankings. quote he had at the end of the, the game? Yeah, something, he's a Something about my clogging guy. the toilets because it was about to be a crappy day or something. I don't know. I don't know what what a line. He knew it was going to be a crappy day, he said. I don't, I don't know. know what that even means. It wasn't a crappy day. Wasn't it a great day? Like, he got his first W. All right, let me tell like you, crazy uncle. Let me tell you something. Love my uncle, but there's something <laughs> that tops family, and that is my gut. And my gut, gut is on fire, telling me the Browns are taking this one. I'm actually, even though the Saints are favored, I'm actually kind of oddly confident with the shit Browns in this one. Jameis Winston revenge game, but Ooh. that's not why. That's not even why. They got to make sure he throws the ball as, le- as least as possible. Does that make sense? That sounded didn't sound right. Just the, run it because. He turns it over, but the Saints are struggling recently, stopping the run, getting Nick Chubb going, and it may not look like it based on the Browns' record in the season, but the defense of the Browns is pretty solid. It's a solid defense, so I don't expect the Saints, who have, who have no receivers, to be able to do enough damage in this one. Nick Chubb has his best game back yet, best game yet as he's been back. Give me nice. the Browns. I'm sorry, Uncle. I still love you. Uh, you're still at the top of the Uncle Power rankings. Yeah, I'm taking the Saints at home here. Tell and I home. feel confident in that pick. I, I think, like you said, Winston just turns it over way too much for my liking. Um, and not all teams could be the Vikings and turn it over and still win. The Lions? Most times. Lions are the, the Lions, better one. The Vikings mo- Most the times Jags. you turn the ball over, you're losing the ball game. Yes. And uh, most times. And uh, I just think Winston's But the Saints gonna, might not even score against this Browns defense. They, they're going to score. They're going to get a, a takeaway score. This is tough. You going to go against your uncle Pete or what? <laughs> I know. You guys that's, both can. It's tough. Both can. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking Browns just because uh, I feel like that always happens. You get like an interim coach and they're all motivated to get a win. And then also in the next week after that, this is just disappointment there. Give me give me the Browns Surprise here. Yeller is to – I thought Yeller's I might be – got the Browns. I'm, I thought I might be the only one. I was getting excited. Why oh, surprised? He's a dog. He's a dog. Uh, true. Uh, and the, but the Hall of Famer's got uh, Saints and a squeaker. Squeaker. Ooh, that's he, a tough one. He already had his ass beating and he had a squeaker right now. But, uh, that's a good this split one, but right here. Good old-fashioned split means watch this one. I think it's going to be a close game. Yeah, I think it definitely could be a squeaker. My gut's telling me the Browns, defense, Nick Chubb, do it. Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Go ahead. Do it. That's what I'm going to put up. Oh, no, I'm going to be at the Titans game. Never mind. Oh, Colts oh, and oh, Jets. And when I said good ones, I'm talking about games like these. I think they're good, close games here. Flacco revenge game. Flacco revenge game. The Jets are stinking it up. The Colts are stinking it up. Uh, both got uh, – the Jets more so got shellacked last week. But the Cardinals are hot. The Colts played a good team in the Bills. In New York, uh, who the hell is going to win this game? I don't know. It's up in the air. I mean, I, okay, I'll go first, I guess. Uh, I think the, I think Jonathan Taylor can run pretty well, that you can run the ball on that Jets defense. They're dysfunctional right now. Uh, how, but mainly how you really get going against the Jets, scrambling quarterbacks. I said it last week. I picked the Cardinals because Kyler was – that's really not the only reason they won. They could have won any way they wanted to. But Kyler ran very well, two touchdowns against the Jets. The Colts have that guy to do that. He's on the bench. I'm going to pick the Jets. No. Oh. Jets got to win this game, No, the, big, right? the, the main reason is, yeah, the Colts are per, they're a mess. I think with the whole Richardson-Flacco thing and Flacco turning it over, he's going to play a good defense. They're only not a good defense when running the ball. I know Taylor could run pretty well, but Flacco won't do it well. And, yeah, Kenny Moore post-game saying there's a lot of guys in this team that just don't want it. They're not giving full effort. It just, it just doesn't feel right right now. Even though if they didn't turn the ball over a ton, they could have beat the Bills, I suppose, but – Jets, another big reason, I think Rodgers plays well in this game. He's been a little hot and cold. The Colts run a pretty straightforward cover three defense, nothing nothing new, you know, nothing that's going to throw off Rodgers. I think he has a solid game. Give me the Jets. I'm feeling the Jets in this one, even though it can go either way. I'm taking the Jets. I just feel like they, I don't know, I, I trust I trust their defense more in this situation, and yeah. them being home kind of helps. But uh, and this is like a game you just look at, and it's just, like I said, like, the Jets gotta win this game. They just gotta. They gotta win this game. Both of them gotta. I mean, the yeah, Colts. I don't know. The Colts are less in win now mode. The Jets seem like. I don't know. It just seems like with all like the last couple years in terms of who they've gotten on the team, you're just like this. 
in the trades this year, like they're clearly in win now mode. You Hall of Famer, games. Jets, Yeller, Jets. Pete has a chance. I'm gonna do it. Give me the Colts. He's ta- Pete's taking the Colts. Give me the Colts. Uh, huge Colts guy. No, no. I'm not. You is that the Titans' biggest rival, the Colts, blue. or is it the Texans or the Jacks? I think it's probably the Colts. Honestly, it's a weird. That's it's, not it's, the AFC South's weird. There's not like everyone's, obvious. Everyone's kind of. Everyone hates. Everyone hates each other. There. Everyone's got a rival against everyone. They all kind um, of stink, Pete. Yeah, they all do. I mean, we're all hyping up the AFC South. Like they all stick. The Texans aren't even that good. Uh, hey, Nico's coming back. Yeah, though. that's what they need. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I just think. I don't know. I think the cold. I think Flacco bounces back. Like I keep thinking, like like you were saying, like the Jets gotta win this one. And I keep thinking that, and they just don't. Like they're just. They're you just, picked them on Halloween. They beat the I, Texans. They did. Uh, I think the problem is the coaching staff, and I and I've said it earlier in the year. Like they got a bunch of ex Titans in there that don't know how to coach. Uh, ex Titans coaches that don't know how to coach. So you're all. picking the Colts over the Titans in this yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. It's a good pick. Well, all right. There oh, you have oh, it. Pete, I thought we'd get a smoother transition out of there. Uh, yeah. Lone Peter. All right. Lone Peter on the Colts. Let's go to the – Oh, ooh. my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a battle in the AFC North. The Ravens and the Steelers both Russell's piping – First play Steelers. First play Steelers piping hot. This is – it's going to be a game, a test for both these teams. The Ravens are going to go see a very good defense and a hot team. The Steelers are going to see a legit offense. Have they seen? They, they haven't seen a long list of those legit offenses. They played one last week, started slow. They got let it get out a little out of hand, but they came back and, and won, figured it out defensively in the second half. Really shut Jaden Daniels down later in the second half and won that game. It's a good one. What are you? What are you guys thinking? Tough. Taking the Steelers at home. Oh, taking the Steelers at home. Taking the Steelers I, I want to take Baltimore here, and I know I'm going to regret not taking them. Just you know what? Russell Wilson, I just can't really trust that guy, Mr. Unlimited, but I think they just get the job Unlimited. done. Uh, Yeller's, got the, Yeller's got the Ravens, and Cam's got the Ravens. Let me give, me ta- on, give me on the Ravens as well. Pete's got the Ravens. I think it's got too much, too much weapons over there. Too many weapons. Uh, yeah, the Steelers statistically are a really good stop in the run. I don't know. Some of, I think you can maybe do a little damage. I'm not saying you're going to torch them on the ground or anything like that. And the Ravens do have an elite rushing offense, and they can get going on that for sure. Last game, I don't want to base too much off one game here, but the for three quarters, the, act, the shitty Bengals defense kind of slowed the Ravens offense down, but the fourth quarter was awesome for them. Ravens defense, I don't trust it. Steelers are a little more balanced right now. Seven out of the last eight meetings, the Pittsburgh Steelers have won. I'm going to go with that trend. Give me the Pittsburgh oh Steelers God. at home. Bringing the statistics. They've, the wow. statistics. they've done well against Lamar. I know he has. Lamar hasn't played all those last eight games. Where, you know, the end of the year last year, they had their backups in. And there's been, it was a season with Lamar obviously not playing against Steelers. Lamar's but. hungry, though. Hungry I can see it. Faster. I don't trust their defense. I yeah. think the Steelers' offense does some doesn't do enough damage though. That the Ravens, the Ravens' offense line is held up. I don't know if I fully trust it. I don't think it's as good as it was in past years. I, I think uh, T.J. Watt gets after him. I mean, Pittsburgh at home. If this was in Baltimore. I would definitely go with the Ravens, most definitely. But most definitely split. Go to the fashion split Ooh. on the year, and it's a split on this game. It's one to watch for sure. Me and Junior over there feeling frisky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Getting is that frisky. later? Is that 3 o'clock or is that noon? Uh, you'll have to look. I don't know. What do you got, Junior? It doesn't say the times here. I think it does. Let's see. It doesn't. It's a noon. All right. I got to do this again. Does it say it here? It does at the top. Noon? Oh, are you in it? What? Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, Falcons and Broncos. That's a good one, too. This is a good I told you, this is a good one. The Falcons, they, they had a meatball game last week against mm-hmm. the Saints. I mean, they moved the ball. They just missed a bunch of field goals, and my uncle just had something to say about it. So uh, they, they lost. They, they dropped one to the Saints, and the Broncos had it. They had the Chiefs. They outplayed them in the first half. They couldn't do shit on offense in the second half. But at the, la- at the last drive, they had it. They Fucking 35-yard field goal blocked. They couldn't do it, all right? 
And there's a big question right now, can they actually beat good teams? I mean, they played with the Chiefs. They didn't beat them. They beat the Bucs. How good are the Bucs? Whenever they play good teams, that's when they're losing. I think the Falcons are a pretty good team. they got a lot of talent on offense, so it'll test for a, a pretty good defense in the Broncos. Bijan's running wild right now. He can do some damage. The Falcons are pretty good away right now. So that's something, but let me tell altitude. you what, they haven't played in the altitude yet. Give me the Denver Broncos, actually, in this one. Bo Nix has got to take care of business here, but the Falcons struggle on defense. They struggle stopping a run, and let me tell you, watch out for the rookie. Audric Estime is taking over as that running back in Denver. Watch out for him to have a solid game. Broncos defense does enough. Yeah, the Falcons got to get in the end zone. They, they're going to get in the red zone. Are they going to get in the end zone? Field goal fest in this one. Give me the Broncos in that altitude. I am taking the Falcons on the road here. The road dogs are coming into this altitude, and they're, I don't like like you said, Denver against good teams is weird because it seems like they play them well. They just can't, they can't close the door. I also wonder with the Broncos against good teams. I wonder about the Falcons against good defenses. That's mm -hmm. still a question too. This to me is a 50 50 To be honest, the yeah, both teams are of kind of the same in the same boat. I think this is the toughest one to pick. This There's a lot of tough one. ones. I think it's the toughest one. Because I actually think the Falcons are better. Yeah, I'm going to go. Head-to-head, -head, though, in Denver. I'm going to go with the Falcons. I was impressed with what the Broncos did last week. But uh, I think young Wei Koo gets, gets back on it, uh, hits his field goals. Um, I feel like Denver hasn't really been playing that well in the altitude, to be honest with you. This year, because I feel like every time I pick, every time I pick them, because of the altitude, they've lost. So what's their what are, what's their home record? I don't know. I don't know. Can we can we find that out here? Yeller is actually joining me on the Broncos, but Huge now I'm wondering Broncos if the altitude guy. works against the Broncos. Uh, I feel like they haven't played well. They they probably beat some some bad teams. Cam Sullivan does have the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta. Uh, this is the toughest one of the week. Do, can the Broncos' offense do enough? And they win the time of possession this game. They play good defense. Aldrich Estime. Maybe I'm being a little bit of a homer with that, Notre Dame fan, but uh, physical back. He's going to punch in at least a touchdown. That's bold, but he's going to punch in at least one here. Bijan has been on fire, but the Bron Broncos' defense is balling. It's a lot better than I thought it would be uh, uh, stopping the run. They were god-awful stopping They're two and two at home. They lost to the Steelers. And the Chargers, but they beat the Raiders and the Panthers. Interesting. Those two losses know. were to, wait, the Steelers and who? The Chargers. Two really good defenses. The Falcons do not have that defense. But the Falcons can create turnovers. Bo Nix better be careful there. But he's getting better. He's playing better. Uh, they got to play like they did how they played in the first half. I don't know what I just, just came out of my mouth. They got to <laughs> play like how they played in the first half against the Chiefs. They will win this game then. Falcons are hot and cold. One week I'm like, oh, God, this is a good team. This is a good team right here. And the next week I'm like, God, they kind of stink. I don't know. So we'll see. This is a big game. This is a big game right here. Big Learning game. experience. Learning experience. For all Watch of us. For all of us. Yeah. We're about to have a big game here. Ooh, oh. Seahawks. Off the bye, Niners. I don't know. I got the Niners in this one. I don't. Yeah, I got the Niners too. They got McCaffrey. They're getting Defense health. is playing better. Getting healthier. Ricky Pearsall playing well. Ricky got in the end zone. He got shot a couple times. He's good to go. He's Gun playing Ricky. well. Scoring touchdowns. Junior taking the Seahawks? No. Oh. oh. You said it was a good game, so I thought. It's division always division game. It should yeah. always be. I mean, always. you know, they played each other not too long ago on prime time, and the Niners had them, but the Seahawks actually marched back. They figured something out, but it was kind of a little, little too late. So, and it's always hard to beat a team twice. You kind of keep the same game plan. The other team adjusts. Maybe the Seahawks figured out, out the adjustments last time, and they had to buy. So there's a reason the Seahawks could win this game. Maybe Decaf Metcalf will be back. And, you know, I already labeled the Titans as the worst special teams in football, but oh, the are. Niners are giving them a good battle. They are – it's close. Who sent that uh, that thing today? Oh, the special teams? The special and teams. The Titans and the, were and down at the, the bottom. The, it was the special teams and turnout and, like, forced turnovers. It was a, it was a char uh, graph? Yeah. Graph, like – one of these. There we wait. Yep. I, it's, I'm backwards because the camera. It's. What are you doing? I'm like stupid. This? I don't know. Uh, and the Titans were all the way in the bottom. No, it'd be this way. They were down here. The bottom left. And like the best teams would so be. It was like the it cameras was, flipped. It really throws me off. Forced uh, turnovers and uh, or no turnover margin like there are the turnover differential and uh, what is it special? I think those special teams. Uh, like touchdowns, like allowed. Yeah. And they were just dead last. 
losing the turnover margin and special teams is Niners. letting up letting up points That's for good. Yeller. Nine not Hall good, of Famer. Not a good recipe. Alongside the Hall of Famer Cam Sullivan, he's taking the Niners. Everybody with the Niners. Seahawks could be a little sneaky in that one. Where I was talking about it, I thought maybe, but nah, I'm gonna take the Niners. Oh, oh my God! Ooh. The Chiefs, Bills. This is this could be an AFC Championship preview right here. I mean, a battle. Could the Chiefs? I feel like they can't. Junior's been saying they're never gonna lose, so I already know who he's going with, right? Are you? This is why this <laughs> is wild here. You want to start with these two? Start with them two first. Say no, don't put me up anywhere. Don't, you said don't, they're never gonna lose, and they la- they they were gonna lose last week, and they just can't lose. Don't put me up. Anywhere. Yeller's taking the Bills, right? Yeah, and so is so is our uh, Hall of Famer. That's crazy because it's like the Chiefs are undefeated, and like I mean, you don't. It's hard to pick against an undefeated team, but I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna take the Bills as well at home. Uh, I think the Chiefs snuck by. I think that's I think enough is enough. The Bills usually take care of the Chiefs in the regular season, and then they lose to them in the playoffs. So we're going to go with the Bills. I am planning on also taking the Buffalo Bills at home. I think they they were kind of looking ahead last week to this week. They're at home. It's so hard to stay undefeated for the Chiefs. And why I say I'm planning on taking the Bills, I am looking at monitoring a couple of injuries here. Dalton Kincaid. A big one. Their tight their tight end is dealing with an injury, and tight ends actually play very well against the Chiefs. They're one of the worst teams in football, believe it or not, covering tight ends, stopping tight ends. I know they have Dawson Knox as well, but they need Dalton Kincaid out there, and Amari Cooper will see if he because Keon Coleman's going to be out. We already know that. So if Coleman's out and Cooper's out, do they have the receivers to win this game? They can run the ball. Chiefs been doing pretty well stopping the run. The Bills' defense is balling right now, though, and the Chiefs' offense isn't overly uh, impressive. Uh, you know, they are undefeated. They, they get the job done when they need it most, I, I, I suppose. But, again, I always say if there's, like, one way to beat the Bills, it's pounding the football, and the Chiefs don't really do that that great. So the matchup actually sides with the Bills. But they can't have all these injuries, though, at the same time. So planning on taking the Bills, monitor some injuries. Let me tell you something, guys. The Chiefs are never losing a football game again. Ever again. Ever, Ever again. again. All right. Ever Until again. Sunday. Stop it. Stop it, Pete. This is crazy. How in the world are we got four they guys? They couldn't lose. They couldn't they're, lose last Sunday. They couldn't lose last Sunday. They're due. They can't lose. They're they due. They can't lose. You thought it was over? You thought Denver was going to chip the field goal no, in? No, they can't, can't lose. lose. They're due. Bundle Ruski due. <laughs> Bundle <laughs> What a stupid commercial. It's, I laugh every time. It goes that Bundle one, and then Ruski. it goes Will Levis with the mayo. The mayo. Those are the two worst what commercials. What a terrible – I had uh, – What's the brand name of the of the mayonnaise? Uh, Hellman's. Or Hellman's. Uh, what a terrible investment by them. Yeah. Holy shit. There was a – Bottom tier investment This other century. fantasy league. I mean, we're in a group text, and some guy texted that. He's like, how the, he's like, how the heck did Will Levis get a commercial, a mayonnaise commercial? Because he's elite. Yeah, but it was probably but their first I, athlete. But, ever. but I wanted to text. Him. Oh, I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't want. To, I'm, I don't really like the trash talk, really. But I, I wanted to text him about Caleb's performance on on Whoa, Sunday. Whoa! Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> he's not in commercials. He's got. A, he's probably due for like a Howard Aiken commercial. A what? The the lawyer. <laughs> you ever seen those commercials? Probably. Yeah. They're like super awkward. No, it's always with like. Why is that the first thing you thought? Because that's what I just think of. Like they get the young guys in. They do always do his commercial. Like I remember the Bulls <laughs> at Io Dosumu doing like the most random Howard Aiken commercial. Zanny. Well, that well, the, they're, the they're, whole team is the sponsored, sponsored by that. By them, okay, yeah. all right. That's a little more acceptable. Can't wait for that heavyweight matchup. Ooh. What's the next one? Sunday. It's a good one too, folks. Sunday night football. The Bengals let one slip away in prime time on Thursday night football. They had a little one of that. They call it the mini buy right there. And the Chargers are as hot as anyone right now. They're playing as good of defense as anyone. And Justin Herbert has been very consistent, very very accurate, efficient, and that passing game is heating up. It's a battle because you got the Bengals' high-powered offense going against that defense, and the Bengals. Bengals defense is a little sus. The Chargers like to be physical, like to pound the football. They might be able to have success playing that hardball type of football against that Bengals defense at home in prime time. And before I'm going to say this, I'm going to say it. The Chargers, impressive right now. I think they're very capable of beating good teams. But 
they got to show me at first. I mean, it's not their fault they've had a softer schedule. I'm going to take the Bengals are a good team. I think the Bengals are a good team. I'm going to take the Bengals Sunday night football here. Just too much offense, even though the Chargers defense is very solid, but it's very good. I think. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is a tough, another another tough one. Here. Can those corners I cover think, Jamar Chase? I don't think they does can. Does T. Higgins I play? Think, I, I think he does. I think the Bengals. I think the Bengals will score, but I also think the Chargers will score. It's gonna be. A, I think it's gonna be a high scoring game. Um, I think it'll come down to the end. Do the Chargers win a high scoring affair though? I don't know. I but I'm gonna go with the Bengals too. Um, I just think it's gonna come down to the end. I just trust Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase and T. Higgins. I love Justin Herbert, uh, but. A little bit, still a little bit questionable if they have to start throwing the ball um, at the end of the game. Like I'm still a little bit questionable about the receivers. This is so tough. I have the Bengals picked here, but I really want to kind of go bolt up. I'm gonna bolt up. Let He's me do, let me bolt up. <laughs> let me do it. Why not? Just do it. I go think, ahead. I think it's a good pick. They're favored right one. now. Yeah, it's a tough one. Oh, wow. You're everyone's by yourself. Going, yeah, lone wolfing, but I think that's another good lone another wolf. Another right really there. tough one to pick. The toughest of the week. I think I've said that for like 50 games. Uh, Hall of Famer even went with the Bengals here. Hall of Famer. Okay. Junior by himself, bolting up. So we were very close to all going Bengals. That would have been crazy. Mm -hmm. You saved us. You saved us there. You saved the graphic. Yep. That's going to be a good one mm -hmm. on Sunday night. Football. You know Bengals it's not going to be a good one. Well, let me tell you something. Oh. Big shout out to them boys, and I can't forget about them Texans. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't, they don't know what I'm talking about. Somebody in the comments probably knows what I'm talking about. Neither of you guys? No. no That's from a song. I don't know. Oh. I've been feeling like Luca, how I ball, shit's a blessing. I think that's what it is. I could be, The words could be completely oh, wrong. No, I, don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're saying. Are you saying words? We got the Texas battle. Th that's on what I was night. saying. Yeah, give me the Houston Texan yeah. who is, like I said, now continue to say questionable. They are pretty questionable. 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 Junior Texans. Who would have thought Nico Collins is just uh, one of the best receivers in, in the league? I mean, he's a man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with the Texans. I will say, offensive line is looking extra sus lately, and they're going to go against Micah Parsons here. So could that cause some problems? Absolutely. But Joe Mixon's going to run crazy, and the Texans are going to win this game. Okay, fine. Fine. I'm with it. Everybody Texans? Yeah. I can't believe no one knew the lyrics I dropped. That, oh, that, was, that just blew it. Rap music's just terrible these days, as Dan would say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who's Dan picking? Uh, Dan is actually taking the Houston Texans as well. Houston. Okay. Houston. Put Dan over there. That's Sunday night football, Texas battle. But we're not done yet, folks. We oh. are not done yet. Pete, Honestly, what are you listening to these days if you don't like your rap music? Some country. Boo. Ooh. Boo. I I've hate, been, I've been, uh, I hate country with a passion. That's for not my a, workouts. That's I've an been, uncommon take these days, but I I've hate playing it. some, uh, some classic, some rock, some classic rock music. Nice. Like the boys are back in town. Yeah. <laughs> like D N D. Oh yeah. Nice. Beats by Team Power Rangers. I actually on a bye week. Um, got some weird uh tier names here. I didn't really know. Oh boy, NFC South, and oh, we got all NFC teams here. Bucks, Giants, Cardinals. Panthers, first me and Junior are going to pick by teams of the week. I'm going to go with – it's not the Cardinals because they're hot. I mean, the Panthers are hot, but they should – I don't know. They probably want to be losing. Giants, I guess, could win because they could figure out what to do at quarterback. I'm going to go with the Bucks though, because they're a serious team and they can win some football games if they get healthier and they could get one step closer to being healthier, so we'll take the Bucks. sure. I'm with it. Yeah, All right. Agree. That's it. It's Tears. over. Pete's by team of the All week, right. which no team has ever been placed there. Contenders? It could be whatever contenders you want. Uh, yeah. You know what I should have done? I should have done contenders, chicken tenders again. That was oh. smart last year. I blew it. I like the decent the at best. Blew it. Yeah. God uh, dang it. A tier that says totally running it back with the quarterback, and that could be for the Giants or the Panthers. The Daniel Panthers Jones. are – Daniel Jones, could they possibly run it back? And the Panthers all of a sudden are winning with Bryce Young. Could they actually possibly do it? Could they do it? And then the tier lost to the Panthers. And there is one team that just lost to the Panthers here, the Giants. So that do you want to put them there? Or do you think they're going to run it back with Daniel Jones? No, even, they lost to the Panthers. Yeah. I think that would be even worse. Giants yeah. fans like think this is the bottom. So this is good news. They this lost to the good. Panthers. Yeah, they don't 
those teams don't want to be in there. I think the Panthers Panthers fans might want to, the Panthers fans, sorry, might want to be in that category, I think. I think they're still What a disaster that would be. I think they're still in on Bryce Young, especially after watching him throw for 150 yards and, <laughs> and, and Oh wow. And Will, Will Levis isn't any better Panthers fan, so I'm in the same boat as you guys here, but uh keep I, pounding. I I think they're going to yeah, keep pounding. I think they're going to be in that boat. I think the hard part is uh as a Titans fan too, as I could, I think the Giants and the Panthers fans could relate here. Like we're looking at the draft, and we're looking at the quarterbacks, mm. and this might be like a draft where like you might have to just say no and and run it back with your quarterback. Oh boy! All right. Now Milro, I see Milro's just creep it up after he like what did he do? He he ran for. I mocked him. I don't think he should go in the first round, but I mocked him to the Raiders there's, there's, because that's the Raiders thing to do like right there. That, there's people that think that he's the best quarterback in the draft again yeah, all nonsense. of a sudden. It's just, just he was he, in more of a pro-style system last year. It didn't really work he, out. If they thought, if people thought Lamar Jackson was, was a running back, Jalen Milrow was a running back. <laughs> uh, Arizona. I think they're just decent at best. I, oh. I, I got I to see more. They've been impressive lately, but – Jonathan Gannon, I gotta, I gotta, I don't know if I'm all in on Jonathan Gannon yet. I am. Fire is in my gut. Fire is in your gut. The Bucks, the Bucks are contenders. They whoa, they play some Bucks at a Cardinals. Yeah, I would. Yeah, they play some. They play some good ball. They play tough. They don't have pass defense is atrocious. They'll figure it out. They they should have they should have kept on to Carlton Davis, but uh, they. Need Mike Evans back. Hopefully he comes back after the bye week here, um, and that'll help Baker out. Cardinals are playing much better ball than them right now. I I would trust the Bucks more than the Cardinals. If the Bucks had Godwin and I Mike know, that's, Evans, that's the hard part. Godwin's not. Godwin coming. was having his best season. Yeah, yet. he's not coming tough. back. He's not coming back this year. But Mike Evans will will definitely boost that team. Kate Otten's been huge for them. The two backs huge. have been been really good. I think their Dude. defense just needs to figure it out here. Defense has got to get together. They will. Definitely will. You think so? I hope. I I, I'm a big Baker guy, so I hope the team does as well, you know. I've been a Bucks fan my whole life. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're going to change next week. You're going you're gonna to be the have a Bucks logo. No, I'm just going to I want to Why be would blurred. you switch to the Bucks? I guess I want to be blurred. Okay. Any more zingers for me, guys? Uh, No, Pete. How's the? How's your friend at school, Pete? Haven't seen him, but what? <laughs> getting getting a lot of support. Good support. A lot of support for the channel. It's good stuff. We love you. We love all the support. And Pete loves what's the name? Jim, Joe, Joey. Huh? Joey. Pete loves Joey. Joey. <laughs> Joey's actually a baby kangaroo. That's what they call it. Yep. Joey. Oh, Joey jo and Johnny. Look the at brothers. Wow. Sounds like a law. Now they get a shout out like every week. Joey and Johnny. <laughs> No, shout, they don't. Shout, yeah, out. shout out to Johnny and Johnny. Uh, I'm excited for this game, actually, on uh, Sunday, to be honest with you. Which one? Titans-Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably going to be close. It'll probably be close. It'll be interesting. What's the over-under on turnovers for both teams combined? Ooh, Ooh. it's going to be a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Like we, Awuzie is still on IR. Legere needs out. It's... We got. Uh, Dar I'm gonna. I'm gonna got, predict it exactly right here. We right? got Daryl right. Baker and Jarvis Brownlee at corners here. Um, this might be bold for Darnold, given last week. I'm gonna say one turnover. One turnover. Will Levis. Yeah, the Titans don't force a lot of turnovers. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's using like, Darnold. And, and, and when they when they did, it got called back by the officials. We're two, gonna we're gonna get a strip sack. Two. No, it's gonna get called. Two interceptions for Will Levis. If it wasn't two, I think I would say three is more likely than one. I don't know. Maybe. I'm thinking, I'm thinking an interception and a fumble out of Levis here. Trying to do too much. Yeah. I'm thinking no fumbles. I'm thinking just straight two interceptions. Maybe seven. I don't know. All you gotta do is just blitz the right side and blitz the right. You're home free. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna do it. Flores just, is gonna do it. Just, He'll do it. They're swapping right tackles every series. Right it's now. A, that's, a that's what's going. That's what's going on. Well, but I'm excited. I'm on, I want to see Calvin Ridley in person. I want to see Justin Jefferson in person. I love watching some receivers, um, some Jordan Addison. See Hawkinson in person. Hawkinson was awesome last week. Yeah. He converted like every third down. Just a beast. It'll be fun. It's a fun time. 
Fun times. Indeed. Indeed. Any more zingers before we sign off? I don't think so. That about wraps it up. If you guys want a shorter version of this, we've been doing a short rapid fire picks. It's a lot of fun. If this is too long, I always see comments too long of a video. Then leave. Then leave. Go watch the short. I don't know. Also got score predictions coming. We already had power rankings go up. We had a first mock draft during the season went up. Your spread eagle picks. Spread eagle picks. Um, that's part of the score predictions. The locks, too. We got all kinds of content here. So join us. Like, subscribe. Turn notifications on. That is going to do it for this one. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>